as we are now joined by head coach Craig Russell of Plymouth State Panthers. Coach, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, kind of a, a back and forth game. A lot of shots for you guys right now, but still trying to struggle to get something going through the neutral zone. Yeah, um, that's kind of been the theme of our season so far. Um, they've got good sticks and they're, they're managing their gaps pretty well. Um, we feel that when we get the puck deep into their zone, they were a lot to handle down low. Once so we get those couple of shifts in a row and we can do that and operate below the dots that we can create some opportunities, but uh, they're getting some big shot blocks at key moments and they're deflecting them just wide and, and Sari's been making some nice saves too and, and gobbling up some rebounds. So, um, I mean, we'll just we'll kind of just keep going uh, business as usual and we just got to kind of up our energy level here a little bit in the third. Coach, yeah, you know, kind of feeding off of that, such a clean game compared to, uh, you know, the, the last game here at Hanaway in terms of penalty, you guys have only been in the box for two minutes, you know, how do you, how can you carry that into the third and, and turn it into a positive? Um, I mean, it's it's good, but I mean, they're going to look to to tighten up the calls right now, and I think we've we've seen the history of this uh, this season to the to this point that they're going to like to call penalties at critical moments. So <laughs> uh, we've just got to be be smart about that and not be trying to use our sticks and just make sure we're moving our feet and getting through those little bucks. Continuing with that, coach, Fitchburg comes in and one of the most penalized teams in the conference. How do you take advantage of that in the th in the third period? <laughs> well, we're probably right behind them, so. Um, I don't know. Well, we've got to get more generation, uh, generating opportunities off of our power play. I mean, we're, we're knocking on the door, but we're still not quite getting second, third, fourth chance opportunities down low, which is what we need to do. A um, couple of times we had some guys get some shots blocked and some, some key moments when they had a chance to get it through and they waited just a little bit too long and it got blocked up top. So um, they're starting to come after us a little bit uh, when we've got the puck at the top of the zone. So we've got to, again, same thing with our five on five plays. We've got to work the puck low and try to use change of direction and, and get some pucks out front. Coach, last question. You get you back in the locker room. What are you going to say to the players to get them fired up for this third period? I don't need to fire these guys up. They're they're ready to go. They're athletes. They're they don't rely on me to fire them up. Um, we've, if anything, we've got to kind of calm down a little bit and, and stay com stay composed and just use our poise and, and make those clean plays on the way up the ice. I mean, a couple of bouncing pucks at the end. I mean, Tommy Dowell mishandles a bouncing puck along the blue line that should have been an easy clear, and then you know all of a sudden there's there's an odd man chance right at our net, and they had a couple of bouncers that you know could have gone in either way and those bucks have tended to go in against us this year so um you know uh, we'll see uh, we'll, it's just going to be again more of the same four check card be, be really heavy and hard to play against in between the top of the circles and we've got to win some better we've got to be do a, a better job at winning draws we haven't been uh, haven't been too solid at that tonight coach thank you for joining us best of luck in the third period okay thanks guys that was head coach craig russell the plymouth state panthers joining us as always in the second intermission and